And now to the Glenwood Orchard Knob area of Chattanooga. Six families are being allowed to move back into the Bayberry apartment building where a walkway collapsed on Saturday. Channel 3's Claudia Coco joins us live now from the scene. She has an update on the families who can't return home. Claudia. Cindy, David, code enforcement was out here this morning and deemed half of this building behind me safe for residents to move back into. Now the management company is trying to fix the other half of this building, but the residents that can move back in are nervous to do so. So you're going to tell us that we can go back in? Kimberly Hurd says she's terrified to take her kids back into building 1101 after a walkway collapsed on Saturday, leaving two injured. Jerrica Montgomery says the walkway fell while she was visiting her cousin who is blind. He was one of the two people injured in the collapse. It was terrifying. I was scared. I was more scared. I don't know if I was more scared for my cousin or myself. Her sister also lives in Bayberry Apartments and claims she has filed recent complaints. She put in a work order about the steps. Next time you know the whole steps don't fill in. This is less than three days later. But when asked Berkeley Burbank, vice president of Alco Management, about those complaints, he said this. We had heard from residents that it's been a, that this has been a problem for a while. You know, have you guys received any complaints on this? I don't believe that we have. Burbank says the company which owns the complex is helping the six families who cannot return to their building. We uh, provide. A, a accommodations for the impacted families and so we arranged for them to be in a hotel. Kimberly Hurd is one of the six residents cleared by code enforcement to return home, but she says she'll be staying in her car until she finds a new place. Nope, and they took us out of the hotel. So now we're just like here, I don't want to go in there. So I'm in that. I don't want to take my kids in there at all, like not at all, because what if it crumbles? we got two apartments above us. Burbank says they're working with code enforcement to get everyone back into their homes in a timely manner. And we are working on an interim solution to have uh, to get the, the rest of the families uh, back into their apartments uh, this week. According to a city spokesperson, Alco Management has 30 days to get a structural engineer out here to inspect all breezeways on the property. Now, once those inspections come back, the next course of action will be taken. Live in Chattanooga, Claudia Coco, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.